What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 56 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off the best setups. As always, we have some crazy ones to show off for you guys, a lot of community submissions, glad to see fans of the show submit their setup, so kick back and relax, and we'll start off episode 56. Now, right out of the gate, Alex is hitting us with this really nice gaming setup. Virtually zero cables anywhere. Altogether, this just looks really cool. Whether it's at night with those RGB LED lights shining or with just plain white lights, this setup really makes your eyes pop. He went with the Predator X34 monitor, mounted very nicely to the wall to eliminate any sort of eyesore with cables. And as for his peripherals on his desk, he has the ever so popular Magic Force 68 keyboard, the Razer Epic Chroma mouse. You could see the SteelSeries Siberia 800 headphones off to the left of the monitor on its own headphone stand. And on each side of his setup, he has the Harman Kardon Nova 2.0 wireless speakers. And having the speakers underneath the lamps on each side, I think is also pretty cool because that way it doesn't really draw attention to them, but they're still there delivering audio on each side. And you can't forget the IKEA plant. And also on the desk is a Belkin iPhone dock and his iPad Air. And also he has a hinge dock for his MacBook Pro. He can just plug it in there and if he wants to use that on the monitor, he's good to go. Again, just something about it, the way he has this all laid out, the desktop looks extremely nice. Now underneath the desk, he has his PC fitting in with the theme as well with it being white and black. Unfortunately, it can't be on top of the desk, that would look really cool. Since the space is limited, definitely understandable. Inside the Corsair Graphite 760T Arctic White case, he has an Intel i7-6700K CPU. That's on an Asus Maximus 8 Extreme motherboard, 64 gigabytes of G-Skill RAM, and an Asus ROG Matrix 980Ti in SLI. Altogether, a beast of a PC performance-wise, a very sexy looking gaming setup, I am in love with it. Then off to the side, this appears to be possibly in a basement or possibly a living room. He has a whole entertainment setup with a TV, a nice entertainment center with again, a great job on cable management, RGB lights and the lamps. I love this setup, very envious of this guy's house or apartment, whatever, the gaming setup, the entertainment setup, it is all awesome. Next up from Nathan, we have a dual monitor set up here with an absolutely huge desk. This is awesome. This L-shaped desk is gonna give him tons of room for whether it's doing stuff on the side, anything productivity on like a laptop, and he still just has all that room, tons of elbow space. Love this desk. Which by the way is the Ikea Gallant for everybody out there who wants to decapitate me every time I don't say the desk name. Just check the description as I always say. Now before we get into the gear, I love how he has that family portrait right above his monitors. So whenever he's sitting down, he can just look up and feel all warm inside. Good stuff. Both monitors are the Dell U2715H, a 27 inch 2560 by 1440p display. And they're held together nicely by the Loctec dual monitor mount. It's a match made in heaven. Now for the peripherals, he's using the Corsair Gaming Strafe RGB keyboard, definitely one of my favorites, along with the Logitech MX Master Mouse. That's on an extended mouse pad because he could have 100 extended mouse pads, again, with all of that desktop space. And in the background, you can see a few extra things like the Samsung Meteor mic, along with a few little extra Star Wars pop figures to add some personality to the setup. Then off to the side for his audio, he's got the Audio-Technica M50X headphones in black, resting on the Audio Engine A5 Plus speakers. Nice little contrast there. And those are hooked up to the Audio Engine D1 DAC. And then into his PC, inside the Corsair 750D case, he has an i7-4790K CPU on an Asus Sabertooth Z97 Mark I motherboard and a Gigabyte G1 Gaming GTX 970 graphics card. Since it is on his desk, I like how we use the Noctua fans and this CPU cooler to keep the temperatures down and literally keep this thing to below a whisper. He can probably keep the side panel open and he still won't hear it. Altogether, a great setup, dual monitors, some great peripherals, and I just still can't get over that desk. It is a beauty, really, really crazy, just awesome stuff, man. 
And then we got Steven with this very nice and clean winter is coming setup, he wrote. Got the Jon Snow wallpaper there on that beautiful monitor, which altogether is gonna tie in nicely to his setup's theme. There's something about the simplicity to this that I really like. His monitor of choice is the LG 34 U97S. That bad boy is a 34 inch ultra wide monitor with a 3440 by 1440 P resolution. And then as for his peripherals, he's rocking the Corsair Gaming K70 Lux RGB keyboard with blue switches inside. And coupling that nicely is the Corsair M65 Pro mouse in white on a Corsair extended mouse pad. The trio is real. I like how he set the RGB lights in his keyboard and mouse to purple to match the backlighting behind his desk. And then as for his audio, he's using the Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers, again in white to complement that theme. And his microphone is the Snowball mic. Now let's take a look at that PC. And inside he has the NZXT Hue Plus, which makes this thing look crazy. That Inwin 805 case is already really nice with the tempered glass and adding those RGB lights inside really makes for an eye-catching build. When talking specs, he has the i7-6700K Skylake CPU with a Corsair H100i V2 liquid cooler, 32 gigabytes of Corsair Dominator Platinum RAM, that's all on the MSI Z170A Titanium Gaming motherboard, and an NVIDIA GTX 1080 Founders Edition graphics card. I could probably stare at this all day, definitely a nice looking build. To sum this one up, simple, clean, it looks really nice. You got the peripherals and RGB lights to match your setup as a whole, change whatever colors you want, really, really nice. Now we got Brad hitting us with this entirely Razer themed setup. Well, not entirely, but pretty much. One thing right away I wanna point out, I'm a huge fan of the texture of the floor and that textured wallpaper. I think it complements each other really well. It's modern and it goes along with your setup. He's using the LG IPS 277L monitor, keeping it simple here with a 1080p single display. And then pointing out the gear on his desk, he's got the Razer Ourobros mouse, I think that's how you say it. That's paired with the Razer Deathstalker Ultimate Keyboard on a Razer Goliath it's extended mouse pad. He has the Razer Tiamat 7.1 headset with the stand. Yes, the Razer stand. And the Razer Leviathan soundbar. And then guess what? It does not end there because along with that, he has his Razer PC. It's the Razer Edition NZXT H440 case. And inside he has the Intel i7 4770K CPU on the Asus Sabertooth Z97 motherboard, 16 gigs of a Vixer Venom RAM, and a GTX 970 graphics card. And with some added flair, he went with the green cooling for his CPU cooler. And I really would have liked to have seen you go the little extra mile and get some maybe black and green or just neon green cables for your graphics card. Altogether for your gaming corner, definitely Razer themed. People might not like that, but hey, doesn't matter what the fanboys think, it's up to you, it's your setup, and that's all that matters. I'm a big fan of it, and I wanted to show it off. And then we have Monko Butt, with perhaps one of the most interesting desks I have seen. This looks like it would be straight out of a dream desk setup video here, because that desk is something else. His monitor is the LG 34UM67, a 34 inch ultra wide monitor. It's the one that I used to have in my setup actually. And with that clear acrylic stand, gives it that nice floating appearance. For the peripherals, we have the Razer Deathstalker Chroma keyboard with the Razer Mamba Chroma Tournament Edition mouse. Both go hand in hand, pretty much literally. Yes, that was a play on words. On a white extended mouse pad from Vipums. And as for his audio to contrast the other black peripherals, he has the Audio-Technica M50X in white, along with the Edifier Lunar Eclipse speakers in white. I've been seeing these a lot lately. There's no doubt they're definitely pretty cool looking. And with this setup, it feels just right. And this entire setup is powered by his MacBook Pro. So no PC to talk about here. Everything is gonna be run off of that, which is great because when he's home, he can hook it up and do whatever he wants on here. And if he's working or something, he could take it with him on the go. 
And one last thing, I like how underneath the desk he has that kind of glowing mood ball. It adds a very subtle glow behind the desk and with it being blue and those blue walls, it just adds a nice little touch. So a pretty cool bedroom setup here. I really, really wish I knew more about that desk. It's really unique looking. And if it's handmade or something, then kudos to you because that thing is pretty sick. All right, guys, that'll do it for episode 56 of Room Tour Project. Hope you enjoyed. And don't forget, check the description down below. I will have all the products you saw listed in this episode down there for you so you can check it out. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at randomfrankp. Last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. You're not going to want to miss any tech reviews or any future episodes of Room Tour Project. We like coming up to the channel. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.